Switch on. Very nice. That sounded really crisp. I think we, um, that's got a nice kind of a ripping sound of the exhaust at RPM. Yes, that's what it's supposed to have, yeah. So all, all the, uh, your, your fine efforts here have paid off with all the uh, jetting changes. Uh, you want to tell Lorenzo what you did? Well, let's see. We're trying to remember. We went through all the jets on it were incorrect with the exception of the base cold start jet it's a 1.5 yeah which is the 1.5 uh, the whole thing was running way too rich we have gone from a what did we say it was a 200 idle jet all the way down to a 120 all right. is what we're at now mm -hmm. we went from a 220 partial load jet down to a 160 that controls the mid-range and acceleration through up into the high end and then the cold start jet went from a 3.5, we're now down to a 2. <clears throat> and um, we've been trying to get all this calibrated for the fast idle at cold, but uh, we've leaned it out substantially and it's responding nicely and the exhaust is burning nice and clean. You saw when it was running, no more big gobs black. of black soot and big puffs under acceleration. and. The, right. Plugs are staying nice and clean now, and it's got a nice crisp sound and instantaneous right. throttle response. So, so far, so good. We're happy. Very nice. The only thing we got left is the irritating water pump uh, dribble. Yeah. Which we will indeed have to pull the pump off. It uh, it, it dribbles at its convenience and uh, not uh, not at ours. It's not automatically self-repairing. <laughs> it's so. not so far. It has not self-repaired. -re Excellent. Anything else? That's all I can think of. All right. Thank you, Lorenzo.